I want to talk to you about something that I'm asked a lot, and I kind of want to answer a, a commonly asked question, like if I'm doing a podcast or, or I'm doing an interview for a magazine, this one question always comes up. And the question is, if you were going to give advice to somebody on how to make money at photography, like how, how can they either do a side gig or, more importantly, what could they do to actually go pro? What is it that would let them transition to it? And here's what I would have to tell them, because you got to realize where we are today. Cameras are just so darn good. Like the cameras are just phenomenal. In fact, everybody can take a good picture today. I mean, just think of it this way, right? If I uh, bought a brand new camera and I handed it to my daughter and said, you know, honey, go out and take some pictures. Just leave it in auto mode. When they came back, they may not be the most creative photos, but the exposure would be right, they'd be sharp, they'd be crisp and all right, because right out of the box, today's cameras actually work phenomenally well. And in fact, you don't even need a fancy camera. Your phone can take a great shot. Your phone takes a great shot right out of the box. So if your phones take great shots and your cameras take great shots without you really doing anything, why would someone hire you to take their photos? Everybody can take great photos. So that's the thing. If you want to make a living, they have to be able to look at a number of different photographers and go, oh, I want this one. This is the one I want. Because you have to have something different, something unique that you stand out. When they look at a bunch of photographers that all can take a nice shot, you've got a particular look, a particular style. And now, this style that we're talking about, it may come from how you shoot. It may come from the angle you shoot or the lens or how you take a photograph but probably a lot of it is gonna come from the post-processing. A lot of it's gonna come from what you do in Lightroom and Photoshop to create your look, your trademark look. And I'm gonna give you some examples. So when you're developing your own look, I just wanna give you an idea of people that have done exactly that, and you look at their photos and they have a particular look. Like, you'll know when you develop your own look when someone goes, oh, I knew that was your shot. As soon as I looked at it, I knew that you had taken that. That's what I'm talking about, that kind of look. So let's take a look at this shot here. This is, this is a shot from Regina Pagels. That's not Regina, that's one of her subjects, right? But Regina's one of my favorite portrait photographers. I just, I love the way she shoots and I love the way she post-processes her images. They just have such character. Now, she doesn't hire professional models. She lives in a very, very, very small town and the portraits that she does are of people that live in her small town right? And there's a commonality. All of her portraits have a particular look. So if you sat and did a portrait session with Regina, that's what your shots would look like. They would look like that. And people can look at a bunch of different photographers and go, ooh, that's what I want. I want that look right there because she's doing something different. Now, she doesn't make any secret of any of this. She's actually did a guest blog post on my blog where she's like, here's the lighting I use. Here's the setup. Here's what I do in Photoshop. But here's what she does. She does it consistently. She's not all over the thing changing her look every single photo. It's the same look again and again. She's perfected it. So when you go to hire her, you know I'm going to get that look. I love that look and that's the look I want and I'm willing to pay for that. She's not just taking a good shot. She's, taking, she's a great photographer. She's taking a great portrait and then applying her look to it. And that's important. Take a look at, say, say Maria, all right? And uh, that's, the, or, or actually, the website is, uh, it looks like Cest, C-E-S-T, but it's French, Say Maria. Uh, and her stuff, I've been following her for years. Her stuff is amazing. Now, we're going to take a look at her Instagram account. And she has a particular style. Her style is a very light pastel shots. And brands hire her because they go, ooh, this is the look we want, right? Whatever she shoots, no matter where it is or whatever it is, it all has her trademark look. Now, part of it is what she shoots, certainly, but a lot of it is the post-processing, that she has a very, very, very well-defined post-processing look. Take a look at this, another, another Instagram account. Same type of thing, where look at the commonality between the images. Look, how, look at these images and how great they look. This is Techland, and, and you can see just the look of this architectural. It's very colorful. It's very neat and unique. And this is what brands 
and social media people and advertising agencies and art directors are looking for. Someone that can reproduce the same award-winning style again and again and again. Here's Oprisco, right? This at Oprisco on Instagram. And look at these very unique photos. And even though they're all taken in different places, look, some are taken in the country, some are taken in the city, some are indoors, some are out in a field, some are in the studio, but they all have that trademark look. They all are clearly shot by the same photographer with the same look. And that's what's so amazing about these photos. And then there's somebody very famous like Peter Hurley, right? The master of the headshot, the guy that wrote the book on the topic. Peter made a, made a splash for himself by creating a very repeatable look. And he has this group of photographers that he teaches all over the world called the Headshot Crew that all follow his, his diagram. We're using this kind of background, we're using this kind of lighting, this is how we're gonna pose people. He teaches the posing and the lighting and the whole nine yards. And when you go get your picture taken by Peter, it has a very Peter Hurley look. And even his students are getting that same type of look. And it's, it's repeatable and it's wonderful. You see it on LinkedIn every day, right? Everybody's LinkedIn profile that really invested in it has this great look. So if you go, like for example, if I were gonna go and get my headshot taken by Peter Hurley, you know what it would look like? It would look like this. <laughs> Peter did that headshot for me. And, and that's the thing. When you have your own look, and again, whether it's photographically, whether it's post-processing in Lightroom and Photoshop, or it's both together, now you've got something marketable, something that people want, and something that separates you from the rest of the crowd. So, to answer that question, like what would I tell someone if you wanna go pro? The answer is, you've got to develop your own look. Now, good news for you guys, you're at a place where you're gonna see so many different ideas and so many different tools to help you create that. And so now, it's time for you to go out and develop your own look. Create that look and open some doors and I wish you very, very great success on your journey for going pro.